2018-2019 NHL season preview featuring the Toronto Maple Leafs. The Toronto Maple Leafs just went from being a good team to being a legit playoff contender. In free agency, the Leafs signed John Tavares to a 7-year deal worth $11 million per season. Adding Tavares gives the Leafs two dynamic offensive lines to go along with a mighty solid third line. Toronto also added Andreas Johansson and Tyler Ennis in free agency. There is one major RFA the Leafs have to re-sign this offseason, that is William Nylander. Next offseason, the Leafs need to re-sign Austin Matthews and Mitch Marner. While the Leafs have made their offense better, the defense still needs to be improved. In the 2017-2018 season, the Maple Leafs lost in the first round to the Boston Bruins. With the young core gaining playoff experience and the addition of Tavares, the Leafs should make a deeper playoff run. Toronto has two dynamic offensive lines featuring two of the best centers in the league. Austin Matthews will be centering in line with Patrick Marleau and William Nylander. John Tavares will be playing on the line with Mitch Marner and Zach Hyman. The X factor of the team is Nazem Kadri. Kadri will be the third line center and will be responsible for matching against other teams' top lines. Defensively, both Morgan Riley and Jake Gardner have to elevate their game to the next level if the Leafs want to make a deeper playoff run. Frederick Anderson needs to play like an elite goalie for the Leafs to make a deep playoff run. There is quite a lot of hype surrounding the Toronto Maple Leafs this season. However, usually elite caliber players like Tavares may take some time adjusting to a new team and new system. This is how the lineup looks like right now. The first line is Patrick Marlow, Austin Matthews, and William Nylander. The second line is Zach Hyman, John Tavares, and Mitch Marner. The third line is Andreas Johansson, Nassim Kadri, and Kasperi Kapanen. The fourth line is Tyler Ennis, Paul Lindholm, and Connor Brown. The first D pair is Morgan Riley and Ron Hainsey. The second D pair is Jake Gardner and Nikita Zaitsev. Third D pair is Travis Derma and Connor Carrick. Goal tenders are Frederick Anderson and Curtis McElhinney. 2018-2019 NHL season preview featuring the Tampa Bay Lightning. The Tampa Bay Lightning had a disappointing 2017-2018 campaign by their standards. The Tampa Bay Lightning were viewed as favorites to win the Stanley Cup but were eliminated in the conference finals. Nikita Kucherov was their main priority this offseason. He was re-signed for 8 years at $9.5 million per season. The Lightning also re-signed JT Miller and Ryan McDonough to long-term extensions. Next season may be a challenge for Yzerman as Braden Point and Yanni Gord are due for new contracts. Anton Strawman, Dan Girardi, and Braden Coburn are all UFAs next season as well. So it's very likely that Alex Kalorn, Ryan Callahan, or Tyler Johnson may be moved. Heading into the 2018-2019 season, the Lightning are once again favorites to win the Stanley Cup. Steven Stamkos and Nikita Kucherov are one of the most lethal dynamic duos in the league. The second line of Platt, Point, and Johnson are as good as any second line in the league. Their X factor is Anthony Sorelli. If he can turn into a good third line center, Tampa will be hard to beat. Defensively, Tampa Bay has great depth. A top four with Hedman, Girardi, Strawman, and McDonough is very intimidating. Mikhail Sergeyev is going into his second season, so it's going to be interesting how he does. Andre Veslovsky is the key to the team's success. If he plays well, the Lightning should make a deep playoff run. The Tampa Bay Lightning are stacked. They will only get tougher to beat as their young players get better. This is how the lineup looks like right now. The first line is JT Miller, Steven Stamkos, and Nikita Kucherov. The second line is Andre Palat, Braden Point, and Tyler Johnson. The third line is Alex Kalorn, Anthony Sorelli, and Johnny Gord. Fourth line, Cedric Paquette, Andy Andreoff, and Ryan Callahan. First deep pair is Victor Hedman and Dan Girardi. Second deep pair is Ryan McDonough and Anton Strawman. Third deep pair is Braden Coburn and Mikhail Sergeyev. Goal tenders are Andre Veselovsky and Louis Domingue. 2018-2019 season preview featuring the St. Louis Blues. The St. Louis Blues failed to make the playoffs last season due to a combination of injuries and poor performances from key players down the stretch. One of the major issues going into the offseason was the lack of depth at center. In the offseason, they more than resolved those issues. First, they signed Tyler Bozak in free agency. Then, they brought back David Perron and signed Patrick Maroon. The Blues made a major trade in the offseason acquiring Ryan O'Reilly from the Buffalo Sabres for Patrick Berglund, Tage Thompson, Vladimir Sabota, a first round pick in 2019, and a second round pick in 2021. After a major overhaul of players, the Blues look like a completely revamped team heading into the 2018-2019 season. The focal point of the Blues is Vladimir Tarasenko, who had a down year last season. With a better team around him, he should have better production this season, especially on the power play. Adding Ryan O'Reilly and Tyler Buzak is huge. That gives them three very good centers. The addition of Patrick Maroon and David Perron gives them depth on offense. Defensively, the Blues have two major injuries as Jay Bowmister and Carl Gunnarsson are still injured. Due to these injuries, they will need players like Joel Edmundson, Vince Stunn, and Jordan Schmoltz to step up. The biggest issue for the Blues the last couple of seasons has been goaltending. Now with Carter Hutton gone, Jake Allen will have to be the true number one goalie. With the talent on the Blues right now, they are almost a lot to make the playoffs. However, there is a cause for concern because Jake Allen hasn't shown that he's capable of being a consistent goalie in the playoffs yet. This is how the lineup looks like right now. The first line is Jaden Schwartz, Braden Shen, and Vladimir Tarasenko. The second line is Robbie Fabry, Ryan O'Reilly, and Alex Steen. The third line is Patrick 
Patrick Maroon, Tyler Bozak, and David Perron. Fourth line, Ivan Barbashev, Robert Thomas, Dimitri Askin. First D pair is Jolan Munson and Alex Petrianglo. Second D pair is Vince Dunn and Colton Perenko. Third D pair is Jordan Schmaltz and Robert Bertuzzo. Injuries, Jay Bomeister and Carl Gunnarsson. Goaltenders are Jake Allen and Chad Johnson. 2018-2019 NHL season preview featuring the San Jose Sharks. The San Jose Sharks lost again in the second round of the playoffs. With the court getting older, their window of opportunity is closing. In the offseason, the Sharks locked up Logan Couture and Thomas Hurl to long-term deals. Joe Pavelski is due for a contract extension soon, which could cause some salary cap issues. The top six of the Sharks looks good, but the bottom six is looking very shaky. The main issue is that this may be Thornton's last season, and they don't have anyone that can replace him. Heading into the 2018-2019 season, the San Jose Sharks are focused on making a deep playoff run. The Sharks have enough elite talent in their lineup to make the playoffs. However, they are lacking depth, which is crucial in the playoffs. Because of this, the Sharks won't be good enough to compete with the top teams in the Western Conference. There are two key players for the Sharks this season. They are Timo Meyer and Kevin LeBanc. Both are two young players with high potential. Both players are capable of playing in the top six and can play a key role on the team. Martin Jones is going to have to be phenomenal if the Sharks want to be a legit contender. Luckily for the Sharks, since being traded to San Jose, Martin Jones has been nothing short of phenomenal. Because the Sharks are playing in Pacific Division, they have a good shot at winning that division. This is how the lineup looks like right now. The first line is Vander Kane, Joe Thornton, and Joe Pavelski. Second line is Thomas Hurdle, Logan Couture, and Jonas Donskoy. Third line is Timo Meyer, Chris Tierney, and Kevin LeBanc. Fourth line is Marcus Sorensen, Barclay Gujo, and Michael Carlson. First D pair is Joakim Ryan and Brent Burns. Second D pair is Mark Edward Vlasic and Justin Braun. Third D pair is Brandon Dillon and Tim Heath. Goaltenders are Martin Jones and Aaron Dell. Check out my podcast this Friday where I'll preview the Pittsburgh Penguins and the Philadelphia Flyers. 